What is up my pretties? It's the Lion Queen here. Welcome to episode 328 of Shadows and Pretties and today we are going to look into this 2003 um, movie that just turned 21 years old this um, year and this movie is called Die Daycare. This one stars Eddie Murphy who's, um, who's also known as Donkey in Shrek and he's also known as Mushu in well um, Mulan. So of course, Eddie Murphy is in the lead role, while Jeff Garland, um, Steve Zahn, Regina King, and, and Angelica Houston. So this movie is basically, basically a pretty. It's a pretty good movie. I personally really loved this movie back when I was a kid. It was really funny. I personally really thought this movie was really funny. Neat. And we all know I like a lot of Eddie Murphy movies because he was also Shrek. In the Shrek movies, which of course, um, that's what he's, um, known for is, you know, Donkey and he's known for a few other roles, but this is actually one of the good movies. I personally really thought it was really good. Now, I'm going to go with the plot of this movie in case if you guys need a refresher or for those, you know, who have not seen the movie yet. Um, let me give out a little refresher as to what this movie is basically about. So, basically, the plot of this movie pretty much follows as two fathers who start a daycare out of their home after they get laid off from their corporate jobs. So, Charlie Hinton is a market executive from a local food company. He and his wife, Kim, have just enrolled in their son, Ben, then Chapman to Academy, an over-academic preschool, seen by the naughty, well, not naughty, but haughty Gwyneth Niff Harden. However, one day on the day they enrolled him, Charlie and his best friend Phil, along with 30 others, were laid off when the company shuts down their division due to poor reception of vegetable-flavored breakfast cereals. Now, Charlie breaks the news to Kim and Ben at dinner, but assures them that he will find a new job. While Kim supports the family returning to work as a lawyer, here, Charlie, after six weeks of job hunting, finding nothing, is forced to take Ben out of, ben out of Chapman. Unable to find a satisfactory alternative around town, Charlie decides to open a daycare center in, ho in his home with the help of Phil, calling it Daddy Daycare. Although the local parents are suspicious of men and working with kids, a few choose their service as it's more affordable and child-based. So Charlie and Phil open for a few children, struggling at first with the chaos and some personal issues. Angered at losing the children to a new competition, Harry then attempts to shut them down by... By notifying child services and Charlie and Phil finding themselves reflecting problems pointed out by Dan Dan Kubitz the director of the child services to ensure their daycare is suitable for children including hiring former colleague Marvin as an additional daycare provider in time they start enjoying daddy daycare as it grows in popularity which Charlie delights to see Ben making a few friends and enjoying himself when Kobetz points out that the house cannot be accommodated in the number of children now they have now, he suggests that they either remove two kids or find a primitive facility somewhere in town. Not willing to remove any of the children, Charlie chooses the latter option, and Marvin tells him the suitable vacant building, but they cannot afford it, so they decide to hold a fundraiser to earn the necessity capital. However, Haradin learns that the events and sabotages them with the help of her his hesitant assistant, Jennifer. As a result, Charlie and Phil do not raise enough money to pay for the building. So the next day, the company offers Charlie and Phil their old jobs back as double their salaries, having decided to rehire them after acting on an earlier idea that Charlie had sarcastically suggested. Hyderan also offers to take the children for a more affordable price if Daddy Daycare shuts down. Charlie and Phil reluctantly accept the offer, leaving Marvin heartbroken and refusing to join them. Ben is also disappointed when Charlie tells them that he has to go back to Chapman. The next day, Charlie questions his decision after he realizes the impact that Daddy Daycare had on Ben and the other children. Deciding that Ben is the most important thing to him, he quits convincing Phil to join him and reopen Daddy Daycare. Informing Marvin of their plans, Charlie confronts Harden during a student orientation and reveals the parents and the attendance of how little she cares about children. After man, 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 mentioning how much Daddy Daycare her charge changed and helped uh, the children, Charlie declares that Daddy Daycare reopened and convinces the parents to return. 
Six months later, the daycare manages to buy the building and needs to expand a new prospers. With Charlie and now Phil successful, Jennifer now working for the center and Marvin entering a relationship with one of the parents. With Chapman no more, Hardran is forced to work at a, as a crossing guard, but confuses the car driver when a bee harasses her in because of the daisy on her vest. That's pretty much um, how the movie ends. I personally really thought Eddie Murphy did a really good job in this movie, as well as, you know, the kid actors. The kid actors did a really good job at the time. And surprisingly, the shooting of this began in 2002 in Los Angeles, California, and it wrapped up on November 22nd. So, of course, there is a sequel to this, um... To this well movie called daddy day camp which i thought that one was a interesting sequel to daddy daycare i thought that was a pretty good sequel and there's granddaddy daycare which i've not seen granddaddy daycare yet so i don't know it but with that being said i personally really thought it was a pretty good movie i mean daddy day camp is a pretty funny sequel i personally really like that but daddy daycare is definitely one of my favorite movies um, you know, with Eddie Murphy in them. Because I know my favorite Eddie Murphy movie is one of them being Mulan, Shrek, and Daddy Daycare. That's me being brutally honest. Because honestly, when I looked, watched Daddy Daycare for the first time in, like, years, I honestly realized that this movie was just as good as from what I remembered it. It was funny. The actors did a great job. It was really funny. I personally... Really enjoyed the movie. I thought it was hilarious. I mean, <laughs> I still watch the, this movie every now and then, but I hadn't watched it in years, so I watched it for the first time in, you know, a few years. It's a pretty good, um, pretty good movie. I definitely recommend you guys checking out this movie if you haven't. It's a really good Eddie Murphy movie. You will not be disappointed once you've seen it. It's a really awesome movie. It's definitely funny. I definitely recommend people, you know, check out this movie if you haven't. It's a really great movie. You guys will not be disappointed. So, I guess with that being the case and that being said, I I do recommend this movie for anybody who wants to, you know, watch an Eddie Murphy movie. I definitely recommend this movie. It's definitely a really good one. It's It's hilarious. It's got really good comedy. It's just a really good movie. I personally... Really recommend you check out this movie if you haven't. I think you could find it on YouTube, but you have to pay for it. But I also do know you could find clips of it on YouTube. So, it's not all a big loss. You can find it on YouTube. It's definitely a really good um, film. I definitely recommend it. It's really amazing. You definitely will really enjoy this movie, especially for something made in 2003. I mean, I never expected this movie to become a thing but it did in 2003 it's definitely funny really enjoy this a lot so i guess that's pretty much all i have to really say but like i'm always going to say this is just simply my own personal opinion and if you happen to disagree with me that's perfectly fine too we're all entitled to our own opinions in regards to these movies this is just simply my own personal thoughts I give this movie a 10 out of 10. It's a really enjoyable movie. I definitely really recommend checking it out. You will not be disappointed once you've seen it. It's definitely funny. You definitely will really enjoy that. So anyways, um, that's pretty much all I have to really say. But if I'm missing something in this movie, please let me know what it is in the comments below. And as always, I'm going to sit here and say right now that, you know, what did you guys personally think of this movie? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? Also, what you have done person to help make this movie a lot better. Feel free to let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. I'm the Lion Queen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And if you enjoy this channel, be sure to leave a and the, enjoy this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Ring the bell for notifications to when I upload, so that way you guys will not miss an upload. And as always, if you happen to you know come across some, um, you know my social media such as um, DeviantArt and um, Twitter. Link to those, links to those will be in the about page section so you guys can go follow me on there. Also be sure to subscribe to my backup channel known as Ms. Dark Shigo as link to that will also be in the about page section so you guys can go check it out. That's pretty much all I have to really say but if I'm missing something please let me know what it is in the comments below. 
that's pretty much all I have to really say, but as always, I'll be seeing you guys all in the next video. Peace out like always. I'll see you all next time.